Now, summers are already here and I wanted to make a compilation video just like any other year in which I talk about some of my summer skincare essential. This video would be divided into three parts. This one would comprise of all of my favorite summer sunscreens. The second part would comprise of gel moisturizer for all skin type. And lastly, the third part would be on body care products. So if you want to know some of my recommendations, especially for the hot and humid summer months, stay tuned. This video would be all about my favorite summer sunscreen. I do have quite a lot of them. Now, all of the sunscreen that I am going to mention comes under the budget of 500 rupees. Sometimes they go a little bit more like 510 or 512, but most of them comes under the budget of 500 rupees during the sale. And the cheapest links would be mentioned in the bottom box below, including all of the timestamps. Now, while choosing a sunscreen, I always make sure not only it is lightweight, but also something that won't make me sweat more, but a little bit sweat resistant because I am someone who doesn't go out on a regular basis i tested some of these sunscreen on my sister who goes to college every single day and she did share her part of the review and lastly which is easier to reapply and takes the minimum amount of reapplication time i do have a couple of powder sunscreen sunscreen stick and even normal sunscreen to be honest i prefer my normal cream sunscreen or any other type of sunscreen that is in a lotion form that gives me the optimum protection because sometimes this powder sunscreen stick doesn't really gives you that optimum protection or the claimed label SPF if you just do it one swipe. You have to apply quite a lot and that sometimes makes my face more greasy. So let's find out my recommendation for this particular video. Coming on to the first pick, I have this affordable gem right here. This is from El Senza and this is their Aqua Sunscreen Gel. It comes with the SPF rating of 50, PA rating of 3 pluses, has mostly old gen filters and if you are still scared of old gen filters, go watch this particular video right here and then come back. You would be at piece i promise if you talk about this particular sunscreen not only it comes in a pump packaging has an affordable price tag and also the texture is really lightweight even if you have oily skin living in a humid environment this is a sunscreen that you should go for it gives this nice cooling sensation has the minimum amount of blending time and doesn't make your skin dull or greasy now i have tried this one on my sister and she personally said that this is really lightweight easier for her to reapply throughout the day and this is one of the sunscreen that didn't give her a lot of tan according to her it is sweat proof if you are looking for an affordable sunscreen go for this this is a great pick it claims to have six hour sun protection but please reapply sunscreen every two hours coming on to the next pick which is from deconstruct and this is the gel sunscreen now it says gel but it's not exactly gel it's gel to cream based sunscreen but it does gives you soft matte hydrating finish perfect for oily combination and even dry skin because it does has a great amount of emollients has an spf rating of 55 plus and pe rating of 3 pluses again has decent filters comes at an affordable price tag and i find this particular sunscreen sweat proof because most of the times i'm cooking at home i do get a lot of sweat and this particular didn't bulge and i do get a lot of sunshine in my kitchen and it didn't give me any kind of tan it might be different my sister didn't really like this particular texture she mostly likes dewy sunscreen and this is not a typical dewy sunscreen coming under the budget of 300 sometimes this sunscreen is a total gem coming on to the next sunscreen this is my absolute summer sunscreen recently this is from aquologic and this is their d10 plus dv sunscreen i think this is the best aquologica sunscreen i have ever used and i love a good lightweight sunscreen and it has a really nice cooling sensation it doesn't have any kind of alcohol and menthol but it does has amazing filters which would protect your skin it has the goodness of cherry tomatoes i believe or something like that that helps with the detun process i am not sure but if you are really concerned about tanning Please apply sunscreen every two hours. And if you're still getting tanned, I will make a detan video soon on simple steps that you can do every single day to minimize the amount of tanning that you are getting. This particular sunscreen is super lightweight, great for all skin types, oily combination, dry, everyone would love it. Comes in an affordable price tag with a pump packaging. Coming on to a pick that is great for dry skin or combo dry skin people or even oily skin people living in a dry summer environment. This is from Dr. Shat and this is the Ceramide and Vitamin C 
sunscreen. Now, why I love this sunscreen because it has this nice texture that gives me that dewiness which lasts. And this is a sunscreen that if you have compromised skin barrier would help you a lot because it contains nice ceramides that are really great for your skin. It has 1% of ceramide complex, 2% of vitamin C and 1% of hyaluronic acid. It's a great hydrating sunscreen. If you have combination to oily skin, you can even skip your moisturizer and apply this. This is one of the great richest sunscreen that doesn't makes me sweat. That is something that I really like about this sunscreen. Comes in affordable price tag, obviously. And yeah, this is a sunscreen which is great for combo dry skin. But even if you have oily skin and living in a dry climate like Delhi, you might enjoy this. Now coming on to the next sunscreen, which is from Dot and Key. And this is their watermelon cooling sunscreen. Now this is a controversial sunscreen. I really like the formulation of this. As I don't go out much, I really like this sunscreen. And I can vouch for this sunscreen that it didn't give me any kind of dullness or tanning. But my sister says otherwise. While she was using the vitamin C or the yellow version of this particular sunscreen, if that makes any kind of sense, she got less tanning compared to this. When she was using this sunscreen, she really liked the texture and the dewiness that it gave, but it didn't control any kind of tanning. So that is something that you have to keep in mind. But I personally enjoy this sunscreen a lot. It has a nice lightweight texture. It's an affordable price tag with a great packaging. I really like this pink packaging. Yeah, everything pink. I really adore. But yeah, this is a nice sunscreen if you are are indoors but if you are concerned about tanning this won't give you much of a tanning benefit as claimed by my sister this does comes with spf 50 and pa rating of three pluses and if you want a good lightweight indoor sunscreen this is a great pick coming to the most lightweight sunscreen i have ever used and many of you guys also claim the same this is from conscious chemist and this is the sun drink this is a really nice lightweight sunscreen that feels like a gel moisturizer comes in an ls pump packaging with a price tag of sometimes under 500 but most of the times it is around like 515 or 520 rupees but it is totally worth it this is a great sunscreen it might seem a little bit thick when you initially apply but it blends like a dream super lightweight doesn't makes you sweat and i can vouch for the sweat proof part because i sometimes apply this and go outside and i don't really sweat that much and it stays put and doesn't give me any kind of tan so far but has decent filters the hybrid sunscreen has both the chemical and mineral filters if you are looking for just mineral sunscreen i am going to be making a video soon but all of the sunscreen that i have mentioned have hybrid filters so you get the best of both worlds and i personally love a good chemical or a hybrid hybrid sunscreen this one also has spf 50 as you have seen the whole theme of this video i really love a good spf 50 sunscreen many of you guys commented that spf 30 is enough for our skin i personally don't agree but you do you i really like a spf 50 sunscreen it is just my personal take you might differ but yeah all of the sunscreen that i'm mentioning are all spf 50 and above coming on to an next sunscreen which is great for if you want that matte look some people really crave for a matte sunscreen this is a great pick to auction this is a face card and it comes with the spf rating of 50 plus and pa rating of three pluses and the critical wavelength is mentioned so i believe it is a tested sunscreen but this particular sunscreen is the most comfortable matte finish sunscreen that i have ever used most of the matte sunscreen gave me a lot of sweating problem i don't know most of this invisible sunscreen i hate invisible sunscreen they make me sweat more for some reason i don't really like it but this one is really nice it does gives you a little bit of matte finish but like a soft matte finish comes in an affordable price tag with a super travel friendly packaging coming on to the next sunscreen which is from face skin and this is their spf juice this is again one of the sunscreen that is really lightweight great for all skin types has a nice soft matte to dewy finish not too much dewy though that is why i am recommending it for all skin type because this is a type of texture that many people would like this doesn't add up too much to your dewiness or matte it is just plain simple sunscreen that many of you guys would enjoy comes with the spf rating of 50 plus and pa rating of four pluses and has decent filters i personally like the packaging a lot because it comes in this neon green kind of packaging and i really like this and yeah if you are looking for an affordable sunscreen this is a great pick the next sunscreen is from plum and this is a rice water and niacinamide two percent hybrid sunscreen this is a great lightweight sunscreen for all skin types has the goodness of rice water and a lot of different skin so 
clothing ingredients that are really nice for your skin comes in an affordable price tag and in this tube pump packaging which is sometimes annoying to extract the last bit of products but overall if you talk about the texture this is a really nice lightweight texture it won't give you any sweating at all as claimed by my sister it did help her a lot with the tanning problem and yeah this is a great nice lightweight sunscreen has a little bit of dewiness to it but not too much and it can cater to all skin types now last but not the least this is an empty and i need to order it soon this is from put simply and this is that beat the sun sunscreen now this is an expensive sunscreen compared to all of the sunscreen that i've mentioned but i will mention any kind of discount code that i have to buy this sunscreen. and if you directly buy it from their website and opt for the prepaid method you can get the sunscreen for about like 650 rupees which is a bargain trust me this comes with all of your favorite new gen filters and the thing that i like about this sunscreen the most is that this is the most dewy comfortable sunscreen that i have ever used it's a really great sunscreen and it justifies the price completely sometimes some sunscreen i feel like they might be a little bit cheaper because of the texture and overall formulation this one wins my heart this is my fourth tube and i absolutely love it i can vouch for this product this didn't give me any kind of tan whenever i went out or did anything this is the kind of sunscreen that i apply almost like it has been six months maybe that i'm really loving the sunscreen and if you have compromised skin barrier this is a great pick i do have these three recommendations which i will recommend you to carry it in your purse and just rely on these particular sunscreen as a reapplication sunscreen not like an actual sunscreen because it won't give you that optimum amount of protection with just one sweep and you need to apply quite a lot that makes these sunscreens sometimes uncomfortable but if you are applying makeup these sunscreens will save you first one is from minimalist yeah they finally are back in stock and i'm truly glad because i need to restock this is the sunscreen stick comes with an spf rating of 50 plus and this is i believe the exact kind of dupe of the isn't she one like similar kind of product but yeah i really like this gives this nice dewy finish and comes in an affordable price tag if you consider the quality and the filters that they have used. For some of you who doesn't like that UV finish, I have this one from True Habit. Many of you commented that it's like a paste and it gives a white cast. I can swatch it right now and I'm applying quite a lot and you can't see any kind of white residue you don't need to even blend it with the minimalist one you need to like spread it a little bit this one you don't need to spread it much and it comes in an affordable price tag have these in filters and i really like this coming to the last sunscreen in the list which is the 100 percent mineral sunscreen for all of you mineral sunscreen lovers and this is in a powder format and i really like the concept of powder sunscreen of applying over makeup sometimes these particular stick sunscreen would Take a little bit of makeup, especially if you're not applying like heavy duty makeup. You sweat a lot. These powders comes in handy. It would set your makeup, deal with the creasing and also it does. So gives you that protection. Comes under the budget of 700 rupees, but I feel it's truly worth it if you consider the amount of options have in India in terms of powder sunscreens. So hey guys, this was my video on summer appropriate sunscreen. If you guys want to see more sunscreen recommendation, do let me know in the comment box below. Like this video if you like my content. Share this video to any of your friends. Friends. and lastly subscribe to this channel hit on the bell notification and i will see you in the next video which is all about gel moisturizer so bye bye and take care